Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoy this video, we hope that you will return tomorrow. We are in the parking lot at the Ticket and Transportation Center going to Magic Kingdom yes, for the yeah. last time. Yes. The We talked about it a little bit in yesterday's vlog, but we didn't really go into detail. Um, we are traveling. We're not going to Chicago next week. We're going to Cook County. <laughs> yeah. We're going to Illinois. Not yeah. next week. Two weeks. In two weeks. Two weeks. Um, and we just want to be sure that we are healthy before we go. Yeah, so what we're doing is mm -hmm. is we're not gonna we're gonna self quarantine starting tomorrow. Not that we have symptoms or anything. And then in four days time, we're gonna go. Both of us are gonna go get a COVID test because they say it takes three days for the incubation period to come up. So we're gonna go in four days to get a test, and then that's enough time for us to get those results back. Before so just in case we're asymptomatic or anything and we are positive then we have it we need to know that because we need to know that and right. stay inside but then we wouldn't go to chicago if we were positive and then we know going to stay at sarah's mom's with violet and luca and with sarah's mom and christina and grant and seeing the rest of the family we know then that there's we a good certainty that we, we aren't bringing covid there right i mean and, obviously um, we could get it Right. Uh, in in Illinois. Right. We're going to be extremely um, careful while we travel. Yeah. Um, there are more... We only need to stop for gas three times, typically. Right. With this car. There are more rules if you're traveling to Chicago. So, we really don't think we'll be able to go downtown or really much during the our trip. The only thing I think we could do is literally drive through downtown. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't be able to leave the car because technically, the recommendation is for us to quarantine in Cook County. It's a quarantine order for Chicago, the right. city. So we could be fined if for not quarantining in Chicago. In Chicago, but That's, Cook County, where we'll be at my mom's, it is like a guidance. It's a guidance. We're still probably gonna basically just, we're not gonna we don't right. think go out at all. It's gonna be a really low key trip, but we basically just want to be as responsible as possible. Yeah. And I would, I would travel. like. I know some of you may think like, oh, you're gonna get a test, so you're gonna go with a negative. Like it's fine then, but. It's all half this. You guys know this by now. If you're if you're actually anywhere in the world, mm -hmm. this mostly comes down to politics. Even if you show up and you've quarantined in Florida for two weeks and you've done a positive negative test, it's all politics. They still want you to self quarantine for two weeks once you're in Illinois. Right. Um, and but so, we're gonna go enjoy Magic Kingdom. Yeah, for our last day before we are home. Yeah, and just have some fun with Eve and get the place set up more for James. Yes. We started listening to Michelle Obama's new podcast on the way in and we can't stop. I know. So we have 22 minutes left and I'm like, do we just like sit on Main Street and listen to the rest of it? Kind of want to. Maybe. It's really good so far. It's Michelle and Barack this episode. Yeah, he's our first guest. Please stand clear. jewelry store because I think the princesses are coming. Woo! What's in that Christmas gift? The Maya is there. That's all I want to know. Oh, it's Sarah's favorite snow. Hi! Hi! Look at Cinderella's her godmother up there. Woo! Do you have a winner? Can you get both? Yeah. Instead of, are you sure you don't want the pearls? Yes. With the rhinestones? They're not what I want. And I don't want to settle for them. I agree, you shouldn't settle. And these are things that I really want, and there's all these different sizes. Good, I'm glad you found something you really like. But I thought it would make you happy me saying both. It does. Instead of one. <laughs> so, I'm gonna get both. Well, it took literally what, like two and a half weeks? So, We're walking down Main Street. And I'm like, let's just go say hey to Mickey and Walt as we go look for somewhere to hang out in Frontierland. And what do we see? Three the little peaches. punks walking down the street. Yeah. The Petruses. Hey! And we already said bye to them, so it's like a nice little cherry on top that we got to see them again. Yeah. Before, a before a little quarantine and trip. Look at Walt. Look at Mickey. Where are they? Hey guys. Hey Castle. Hey Sarah. 
so. Hey, I'm sweaty. Have some Christmas magic. 146. We're on the prowl. Ooh, there's a parade starting. We're on the prowl for rocking chairs, but haven't had any luck. We didn't know there were rocking chairs over here. I and think that family's packing up. When it's breezy and cloudy, it's really not so bad out today. If I mean, family, I guess with the hurricane coming. If that family packs up, we're staying there the rest of the night. <laughs> it's 4.35, we're staying there till 8. Hi, Ducky. There's also one of these guys over here. Those rocking chairs didn't free up, so we went on pirates instead. I jinxed us. You know what they say about pirates who go on rule five? What? It's Captain Jack Sparrow we're after, and a fortune in gold. I am no chicken. I will not talk. <laughs> Now that we're done with pirates, we're gonna get some Aloha Isle, but I forgot that like they'll prefer you do mobile order for everything, so we're gonna go ahead and order some Dole Whips. Mm -hmm. Proper Magic Kingdom send off. We haven't, we didn't even get these on our little vacation. You know? Yeah, I can feel it, yeah, from out of the door. This is... Look at this. <laughs> oh, there's Chip and Dale, hold on. I'll bring you guys to go see them. <laughs> oh, gosh. Put your mask on. They're singing and dancing. That's super cute. We didn't see that before. It's a peaceful afternoon. I think it was really rainy here earlier. Like, downpour, we didn't show it. But I think that helped the crowds and the coolness here. Because there weren't a single hurricane, tropical storm warning, or watch in our area. No. Some of our friends from the neighborhood come by. Oh, I forgot, I didn't see Jasmine and Belle when I was on Main Street. Alrighty, we're gonna do some I'm rides. The, the wind color on the top. The back? The back? Oh, well. <laughs> It is a Brookhart household rule that if you see Peter Pan at 15 minutes or less, you must He's stop what you're doing and you have to go on. Immediately. If you have never done standby for a Peter Pan, you're missing out on a very cool room. Something feels magical about this. What? We're off to Neverland. Household rule, gotta go on it. 15 minutes less. Oh no. Are you broken? A little. Sarah needs some new sunglasses. Yeah. Hey, what's up next, dude? I thought we were gonna do, you're gonna do Winnie the Pooh, I'm gonna do Seven Dwarfs, and Seven Dwarfs is 15 minutes or less. Uh-huh. And Sarah's gonna do Winnie the Pooh by herself, and then again after with me. Yeah. Unless you wanted to hunt down water while I'm on Seven Dwarfs. That's but those, a good idea. More stuff for you. You should just buy a bottle, I think. Because yeah. it's so different with it's not as easy just to walk up to a place and kind of have a cup of water because a lot of places you have to do mobile orders for and everything. Right. Um, but a good bottle of water is always a good time. Yeah. The little ice cream shop did have a fountain, so I got three little cups of water. I'm trying to remember if I've been on this since the park reopened. You know, I think I was actually, now that I'm thinking about it. 
but um, it said 15 minutes. It looks like it might be 20 minutes, but for Seven Dwarfs Mine, train, ride, express, ultra, that's not bad way at all. Oh, here we go. With us getting on this ride, this is four rides in less than an hour. Wow. I didn't expect to go on Space Mountain, but rumors are on the streets that I'm going on Space Mountain today. Yes. Then what do you want to do? You? We could chill more or we could head out because I know... Yeah, we haven't eaten dinner. We haven't eaten dinner. We told Eve we'd be back soon. Yeah. If everything goes well, we'll be back soon. Back soon. We are going to see like a little bit of the storm, but probably not until a little bit later, but it could be good just to like be home. Be home. And we, I know we wanted, we had some plans for tonight to watch some some new Disney Plus specials. Yeah. So I think so, it'll, we'll call it a day soon. All right, that is the beautiful sight of five minutes space. You can't even see the queue somewhere inside the building. So I'm gonna take advantage. Angel. Thank you. I'm gonna go soak up some AC. All right, this was gonna be the make or break for the true five minute wait or not. And I think I gotta wait till I get further down. I think I'm good. Yeah, I don't see guests anywhere up there. This is probably gonna. I'll let you know in a moment, but this is probably gonna be the shortest line for Space Mountain I will have ever waited, even during like after hours moonlight magics or anything. Ah, I they sent me to Alpha. I haven't been on the Alpha side. I don't think in 2020. Oh, I'm gone. And there's like. Nobody in this line. I have not stopped walking. Check this out, literally walking right on. Uh, last row in Alpha. Yes. Beautiful view, but today is just reminding me of one thing. How much I absolutely miss the train. I think Sarah and I would have ended up on the train for about 30 to 45 minutes just going three, four, five, six times around. <laughs> You scared me. I was just talking about how much we missed the train today. <laughs> Look at how directly I was being ah, hit by, by the, the sun. sun. Don't you think we would have spent like an hour on the train today? For real. I probably would have fallen asleep on the train. Yeah. They've come Bye. to say goodbye to us for three weeks. Oh my gosh, do you see the heart? Oh. Mickey just screamed for Minnie. Oh, that's the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> It's ready for dinner. I'm spunking up leftovers. I fried up a new big green pepper and then I added the sauce to it. We'll have that over this quinoa. And <laughs> that does not look appetizing. But I'm going to, instead of stuff peppers with it, this is just gonna be heated up on the side. I felt like we didn't get like all the yummy flavors last time because it was all together. So kind of just wanted that on its own. And then I made another simple brine hummus mixed green salad. I did toss some banana peppers in there, some jardinier in there, some cherry tomatoes, and then the cashew parmesan sprinkle that I made. I've been putting it on everything. It's so good. Wow, 700 hours later. And Eve's giving Sarah a pedicure. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Phil on. And we started watching Black is King. Definitely watch it. I did work. Sarah called her mom. And then it's really late and still down, so we're gonna go to bed. All right, today's message is from August 2nd by Josie Bice. 
Bicet? 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 Bicet. Biz set. Dreams come a size too big so we can grow into them. I love it. Here's my new tattoo. Healing up good. Sarah's currently mad at Phil. Yeah, he makes me hungry. He makes me want to eat a pastrami sandwich. <laughs> or a Lunchable. <laughs> On the count of three, scream it really loud, okay? What? You know what. One, two, three. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.